going on guys and welcome back to another video. So today's video, I want to talk to you guys about the Dirty Max. You guys ask me a bunch of questions and a bunch of DMs. Eddie, how long has it been deleted for? Do you like the delete? Has it been, you know, reliable? Have you had any issues with it? You know, be honest, what's happened? Well, I want to be completely honest for you guys. And before I do, finally the solar panels are done. If you guys have been watching the videos, you would see they were up here installing a bunch of these uh, panels over here. I'll show you guys right now. So as you guys see, filled up that roof, filled up that roof, and the garage also. They took that whole part of the garage and uh, filled it from the very front to the back to add as many panels as they can. You guys can see that right there. So panels there, there, and there, and hopefully, uh, well, main reason why I did it was because in the summertime, my bill here with the air conditioning is right around, I'd say, twelve to $1,500, average of like, average probably twelve, thirteen hundred dollars $1,300 a month. Um, you know, I mean, that's a nice car payment. So. Yeah, I'm going to spend the money on the solar panels, but hopefully it's going to drop the bill down to nothing. I mean, even in the winter time, I'm paying, you know, five, six hundred dollars. So, you know, it, it's kind of ridiculous. Here in California, they, uh, sdg &E sticks it to us really good over here. Um, and, you know, we got no choice. We got to either get solar um, or somehow go off the grid. Or you just pay the full pop that sdg &E wants and, well, you kind of have no choice. Get screwed or you get no electricity. But we here, not we, but they have installed a uh, inverter. We got one inverter here this is in the uh, main garage big garage where the dirty max uh, gets parked yes if you guys haven't already make sure you subscribe to the eddie's life channel so you don't miss out on any future content that's coming up 450s back in the garage and here are the other two uh panels right here or not panels they call these inverters i will put the other two in the garage also try to not have any of these outside well just so uh they stay cool and the moisture i don't know maybe they'll last me longer not to deal with any problems later on down the line but they're working so far so good. I know a lot of you guys have said, Eddie, does solar really work? You know, can you guys update me please? Uh, let me know, you know, how, how your bill is and if it's, you know, it's coming down or if it's working. I will update you guys. Uh, they just turned them on today, so I really uh, not gonna see anything for a while until I'm sure it produces. But uh, what's gonna suck is, you know, it's sunny today, but this whole week it's supposed to rain. So probably not gonna be uh, producing that much energy. But let's talk about the good old Dirty Max over here. Well, I'm gonna be 100% honest with you guys. I bought this truck brand new. I purchased it, and I can tell you the exact date, August 8th, 2015 at 7.02 p.m. And I purchased this truck, it had six miles on it. And uh, the thing was just immaculate, beautiful, and I said, you know what, right away, I'm gonna delete this thing, I'm gonna put the intake on, I'm gonna do everything. Well. She has, and I'm gonna show you the mileage right now because I don't remember exactly, but uh, I'm gonna show you exactly my mileage currently right now. There you go, guys. Current mileage is 38,481. Old girl almost has 40,000 miles. Or she's, she's getting pretty old, I, I know, and I know there's gonna be comments out there. Oh, and before I forget this, you guys, the Dodge guys, telling me the 3,500 you can get in the ice, and yes, you guys are right. I apologize, the dealership uh, told me that it wasn't possible, I had to get 3500 So clearly that dealership, uh, they're a bunch of idiots over there. So now I might be thinking about something, but I don't know yet. I'm not gonna guarantee you guys anything. I love the Dirty Max right now, but just to update you guys, so I deleted her at 36 miles, did the five inch uh, straight pipe flow pro, did the EFI Live, the PPEI tuning, it's got uh, the DSP5 switch, it's got the downpipe MBRP. At the time I had to do the downpipe because uh, this truck, so, if you get a 15 or 15 and a half, the downpipe on a 15 is a V-band clamp. On the 15 and a half halves, it was a three bolt flange. So at the time, Flow Pro did not make an exhaust with a three bolt flange. So I had to change the downpipe, which I'm glad I did. Uh, if you guys haven't, I highly suggest you change that downpipe. Uh, so purchased the downpipe, installed everything. Um, been driving it, you know, uh, she tows the toy hauler, you guys know, uh, the big ding ding out there. She tows also uh, this boat. It's not really heavy, but she's been towing. I use this truck mainly for towing. That's the majority of the miles are, are towing. You guys know I don't drive this thing as my daily, so this truck mainly is towing, and that's why I re-geared it with the 456s after or once I put the four the 37s on there. And you guys that tell me, you know, Eddie, is it really worth re-gearing? Yes, guys, it is really, really worth re-gearing your truck. Uh, the 373s, I mean, for highway they're good, but if I get a Dodge or build a Dodge or build another truck in general, I want it to come with at least 410s, not these 373s. Because I noticed the, I believe the ISO with the 410 in it, 410s, I mean, I think tows like a dream. It tows amazing. Um, I'm sure it's, you know, a little bit of both and mainly that Cummins. But re-gearing your truck, I mean, it just, this thing feels like it's, you know, got stock tires on. So, 
Uh, other than that, yeah, I would highly suggest you regear the truck if you can afford it. Now, transmission problems. I have never had one tranny problem in this truck. Knock on wood. I got no wood around here. I guess you need some plywood, but um, luckily, yes, no transmission problems. Tranny's been running good. Temperature stays cool. When I tow it, my tranny temps at about 140 to 150. Uh, when we went to the desert this past week, when it was cold, it was at 125. I think the hottest in the summer when I'm pulling the boat, I see it at like 175, 180. So, I mean, it's, it's been good. I've never had any transmission, no slipping, um, you know, no, no clunking, no hard shifting, any of that. Now, recently I did do the tranny tune where the uh, torque cover locks in second. And that really, I mean, it's really amazing, especially when towing and that second gear, that torque converter locks, it can literally, it just pulls. Uh, and, it, and it pulls like nothing is there. I know a lot of people, um, they ask me, Eddie, why can't you tune the Ison? As of right now, I don't know anybody that's tuning the Ison transmission, so I cannot help you guys on that. For the Allison 6-speed, uh, they can tune that transmission, and trust me, guys, you will love it. It makes a world of a difference when you tune that tranny. Uh, overheating wise, never had any overheating problem. What I've ha what have I replaced in the truck? I have not replaced anything. Again, knock on wood. Uh, but there, you know, everything in this truck has been beautiful. Um, only thing, obviously, replaced, you know, control arm stuff like that, shocks, uh, because I lifted the truck. But cosmetic wise, but stuff, you know, breaking on me. Um, I personally have never had to replace any of that stuff um you know i'm very very thankful for this truck very thankful that this thing has been you know good to me she's never left me stranded uh, i've never had any issues so and like i said she's been deleted since i've got her almost forty thousand miles and i deleted at six miles and i've never had a problem when you check the oil as you guys know it's clean everything stays clean um this thing doesn't smoke too bad i mean if i put the switch to the five dsp5 uh, switch to stage five you will see smoke a little bit but other than that i drive in mainly either the eco or the tow tune i don't really hot rod this thing but it has treated me really really good never had any problems um you know if anything it's just i highly suggest if you guys can and can afford to delete the truck uh, i know some states it's hard especially in california uh, you guys ask me you know how do you smog it i don't this truck is not registered in california so it does not need a smog now you guys ask me also, Eddie, what do you mean your oil stays clean? So I guarantee you guys uh, with diesels out there, pull your oil dipstick right here. I'm going to pull mine. Uh, it's been about, I want to say 4,000 miles, four, maybe five on mine. And uh, I'm going to show you just the color of the uh, oil on this. Let's see if I get this camera to focus here for you guys. But you see how the, well, you're not going to be able to see anything. So clearly this thing does not want to focus. There you go. So you see that, guys? This is about 5,000 miles right here, and there's no black. So I guarantee you other diesel guys that are doing the oil changes on your truck, as soon as you start it, it goes black. That's the advantage of having all this delete is that soot is not getting pumped back into the motor. It's going out the back where it's supposed to be. And I did that. That's why I deleted this truck at, you know, 36 miles, so I can keep... The inside of this thing pretty clean as you guys see here i mean 40k truck's pretty clean doesn't really uh doesn't really need anything motor stays clean i don't have any leaks anywhere uh, and yes you guys asked me did you get the dual alternator yes i got the dual alternator one there and one there uh, other than that you know this thing uh it's it's given me nothing but a good running truck reliable truck never had any issues and a lot of you guys asked me eddie also what happens if you know you delete it and you get caught I have no idea. I, I don't know anybody that's been caught. I'm sorry. I know it sucks. I want to know too. Um, I don't know anybody that's been caught. I have heard you can get either popped with a fine. I've seen from 10,000, 20,000, 50,000. I don't know the proper answer to that. Uh, one guy told me he, or not, he told me, I read that uh, somebody got caught and they just made them, they impounded it and they made them put everything back on the impound yard. If that's true, I don't know. Uh, you know, it's different. But at the end of the day, if I get another truck, would I delete it? Absolutely. Uh, am I going to get rid of this truck? No. The reason why I'm not going to get rid of this thing, well, because it's getting very, very hard to delete these trucks. Uh, Flow Pro, you know, is gone. They're no longer uh, selling anything in the United States. There are other performance exhausts out there, but, you know, slowly but surely, these companies are going to disappear, and it's going to get harder and harder for you guys to delete your trucks 
and to get these performance parts for these diesels, especially if they are not California legal um, or 50 state legal, I should say. Um, you guys know a lot of these companies are, are getting in trouble, they're getting popped for it, it sucks, but you know, that's just the world we live in and we gotta deal with it, so old Dirty Max here. No, she's not for sale, I am not going to get rid of her. Um, you know, like I said, that's why I don't drive her too, too much, just because I wanna keep this thing for a long time and depending on, you know, what comes out technology wise you guys know the new GMC is badass the 2020 uh, am I gonna get it I don't know but even if I do get that 2020 I'm not going to get rid of her uh, at all I'm gonna keep her and she will not be up for sale so a lot of you guys that DM me said are you interested in your selling your truck absolutely not she will not be for sale anytime soon so give it up guys sorry and for all my desert rats out there that keep asking me about this generator uh, so far so good it has ran beautiful what the get your butt out of the garage look at this thing Where, come on he's gonna he's gonna shoot me but uh, so far this generator has worked great um, just kick butt never had any problems with it I personally love this thing because it does run the AC so uh, for an example we got Thunderbolt races coming up here I hook up my uh, 30 amp right there to the uh, trailer and this thing powers my AC powers up everything and it gives you a lot of options and who is calling me at this hour jeez sorry about that guys but uh, yeah like I was saying so it gives you options uh, shows you you know the load percentage wise full um, amperage you know how many amps is pulling how much fuel you have left you got USBs um, you got your 110 right here and it's 20 amp you can hook up right there I mean, this thing is so far so good. It's pretty badass. Still got the uh, Honda right over there that I still use. Um, but as of right now, I haven't really used uh, this is the one right here, the Honda 2000. Don't really use that too much uh, now because I've got the uh, big boy over here. But other than that, uh, update this is good. Truck's been running good uh, since it's been deleted. Solar's done. AC is supposed to be here in about two, three weeks. I believe the guy's coming. Uh, so as of right now, uh, everything's good. I know you're asking about the boat. We're gonna take this thing out soon. I believe the first river trip is in June. I think beginning of June, I believe. And again, also guys, uh, if there's anybody that lives in Hawaii, I'm going to be in Hawaii, DM me please, uh, so we can get some uh, vlogs out there for you guys. Maybe do uh, get a collaboration going on with another YouTuber. Uh, I I've got a couple people that live in Hawaii. Uh, I think I believe only two. So if there's any more, uh, let me know. I'm interested. I want to uh, get some footage out there for you guys because I think me sitting on the beach all day uh, eating chips and guacamole probably going to get boring for you guys. Now, if they got a turtle stand out there, well, then it's a different story. Then, then, then I might be vlogging that. But that's all I got for you guys today. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you guys like this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. Don't forget to click subscribe. Peace. Yeah.